If the Queen's Ferry crossing has to close for any reason, traffic on the M90 will initially be diverted via Concarden Bridge. A diversion via Fourth Row Bridge will only be put in place overnight, outside peak periods. This is because the process takes five hours or more and involves stopping traffic on the motorway. It takes this long because Fourth Row Bridge is now a dedicated public transport corridor and is not linked directly to the motorway network. To allow Fourth Row Bridge to be used as a diversion route for motorway traffic, emergency crossovers need to be opened to link it to the M90 on either side. We're currently getting daily forecasts giving us uh, predictions of whether ice accretion could occur on the Queensferry crossing. And if we get that forecast and it suggests there's going to be a, a long period of risk, then we will discuss that with Transport Scotland and Police Scotland and consider opening up the Fourth Row Bridge as a diversion. Currently, because of the time scale involved and because of the disruption involved in setting up the diversions, we are only doing that overnight. And currently it's taking several hours to set out the traffic management. But initially we have to divert all traffic to the Concarden Bridge so that we've got a safe area for us to work. What we then do on both approaches is lay out traffic management to uh, make that area safe when we do open the fourth road bridge. Then we have to move barriers, and you can see here that there's barriers that have been moved in, uh, in the centre reservation and on the outside of the carriageway. We have to move them in a position to keep it safe for people to make the necessary manoeuvre. You'll also notice that we've got lots of cones in there to keep traffic in their lanes. The speed limits are in place as well because as people are taking a different route from normal, we want people to come through slowly just so it's nice and safe for them.